everyone this is Arun Reddy here welcome to my youtube channel Arun Reddy tech for you in this video we are going to learn a topic called dbms keys so friends if you want to learn dbms and if you are new to my channel you can go through my channel playlist and in playlist you can find a folder called dbms where dbms videos in english are available and if you want videos in telugu there is a folder called dbms in telugu where dbms videos in telugu are available and if you don't want to miss my video please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos coming to our topic so let us see what is this dbms is okay so dbms keys okay so dbms keys are basic requirement of course without uh, dbms keys we cannot uh, you cannot identify a row or a record right okay so not only in the relation table in the others okay so other structure of data models also we required uh, dbms key okay so it is widely used to identify tuple we can say tuple row or uh, record okay so uniquely in a table okay we also use keys to set up relation among various columns and tables of a relational database so what we are saying dbms key what it will do one thing is it is basic requirement it uh, it is used to identify a record and it is used to connect the different relationships in a database different tables okay for example if you have joined in a college what happens you, a university will give a roll number or you can say as a all ticket number so same roll number is uh, helping help you to enroll as a admission same roll number is used to allot the center same roll number is used to give a certificate right now roll number is a what uh, key primary key which will identify whole row for example with your uh, roll number we can get your name father name date of birth and uh, other details right okay so that's a uh, now your roll number is a key right so there are different types of keys okay so one is a candidate key second one is a primary key third one super key fourth one alternative key fifth one foreign key and sixth one is composite key right so these are the major keys so let us see one by one okay right. first candidate key candidate key is a minimal set of attributes that can uniquely identify identify a tuple is known as candidate key so what you are saying it is a set of attributes see one two three more than one attributes we have a candidate key okay so these candidate keys are unique for example roll number cannot be duplicate mobile number see you will not have a, a same mobile number with the two or three peoples if I call where it will go, right? Okay, so mobile number also unique. Other number also unique, right? So what you are saying, these three are candidate keys now. So candidate keys are unique. Okay, but uh, what are the important points for the candidate key means? First, it is a minimal set of attributes. Okay, so it must contain unique value, right? And uh, it contains null value, of course. For example, some person doesn't have any mobile number. Some person doesn't have a mobile number. Then what happens then it may be a null right so it may contain null value okay every table must have a at least a single candidate key every table must have at least a single candidate key so at least a single candidate key must be there every table right okay so of course uh, the same the table can have multiple candidate key but only one primary key see primary key is a part of candidate key for example roll number is a primary key now roll number is a primary key and candidate key so primary key can be one but my candidate key can be many right okay so there can be more than one candidate key in a relationship so what you are saying candidate key should be unique it can be null you can have set of uh, set of attributes means more than one candidate key from that only one we have a primary key right now let us see if primary key uh, primary key means see primary key they can be more than one candidate key in a relationship out of which one can be choose as primary key see so last uh, last topic we have discussed that roll number mobile number and other card are the candidate key right now i am choosing one okay so from three candidate keys i am choosing one as a primary key so what is the major difference between a primary key and candidate keys primary key will not be null okay so it, it is it is a unique value it can identify only one record it has no duplicate values it is it has unique value okay it cannot be null see you if you are trying to enter wrong uh, uh, null values or you are trying to leave the uh, what do you say roll number it will not accept once i have given a roll number as a primary key it will not accept okay so it cannot be null but candidate key can right okay super key uh, set of attributes that can uniquely identify a tuple is known as 
super key see super key is a combination okay so what you are saying set of attributes okay so a super key is a group or group of single or multiple keys that identify a row in a table okay it support null value so it support null value so let me say what is the super key actually super key is a single or multiple keys okay for example roll number is one roll number name S name mobile, S name Aadhaar card. So combinations. So different combinations we can say as a super key. Okay. So uh, you can see a candidate key can is a super key. See candidate key will be a super key, right? Super key values must um, may also be null. Super key values may also be null. So you can see this diagram. It will help you easily. So see primary key is a candidate key. Candidate key is a super key. Automatically primary key is a super key right so i hope you have understood uh, the difference right okay next alternative key uh, so in candidate key we have a primary key right so other than primary key is called as uh, alternative key for example see i have taken roll number as primary key right so other what are the other two mobile number and other now mobile number and other card will be alternative keys right see the candidate key other than primary key is called as alternative key so what are the uh, important points all key which are not primary key are called as alternative key it is also a secondary key it contains two or more fields see two or more fields to identify or uh, identify two or more records okay these values are repeated example mobile number and other number so combination of alternative key and primary key is a, a candidate key or primary key uh, sorry uh, except primary key in a candidate key others are alternative right so foreign key uh, so whenever we have it more than one table we require a foreign key okay to connect the tables for example uh, you can see here i have taken department number as a foreign key remember when you want to connect two tables you require a unique column okay S uh, not unique column same column sorry okay so same column department number department number so when then only you can connect and uh, what this uh, foreign key will do for example employee table this on the left side is have an employee table right side department table for example if i don't connect the both the tables somebody is trying to enter department number 40 but actually there is no department number 40 so what happens it will accept but if i keep a foreign key what happens it will cross check that both the tables and it will connect the both the tables right and remember foreign key in one table will be a primary key in another table foreign key department c department number in uh, employee table is a not a primary key it is a non uh, non primary key but it is a primary key in the other table department table. so remember foreign key have a, uh, every time foreign key will be a primary key in the other table right c foreign key is a column that creates a relationship between two tables the purpose of foreign key is maintaining data integrity see data integrity see if you don't have a foreign key you will allow allow a duplicate value. sorry wrong values okay allow navigate between two different instances of an entity two different tables or entities you can say right okay so what are the important points it is a key it act as a primary key in one table and it act as a secondary key see one table is a primary key and second table and it combines two table it cross reference cross six okay so for example department number in prime primary key in department table and uh, non key in employee table right okay next composite key uh, composite key is a two or more columns that uniquely identify row in a table okay so uniquely of course every key will have the same but it's a combination the combination of columns guarantee uniqueness okay so what you're saying combination of columns give guarantee but through individual uniqueness is not guaranteed for example for example if i take s name there will be a duplicate because same name a lot of people will be there right so, uh, if i take date of birth so there is a chance of uh, people having the same date of birth right but if i take combination of student name and date of birth then i will find uniqueness see combination of column guarantee uniqueness through individual uniqueness is not guaranteed see for example individually if i take there is no guarantee that's a composite key right okay so it act as a primary key if there is no prime uh, primary key in a table for example there is no other card and roll number okay you have a student name date of birth and address and something some fields marks and something then this uh, composite key will act as a primary key right so the two or more attributes can be are used to make a composite key. so two or more attributes examples student name and date of birth 
right so i hope you have understood all the keys so once again we'll repeat uh, one by one okay right so first D dbms why we use it's a basic requirement to identify a row or a tuple or a record okay so it will also connect the different relations or a columns or a, uh, in a table okay columns or uh, you can also say tables okay so there are total six major okay so there are other keys also but we are going to concentrate on major six okay so first one candidate key candidates is a set of keys but it's a unique one okay so it uh, doesn't have any duplicate values okay all right primary key uh, one of the candidate key okay one of the candidate key is called as primary key but uh, primary key will not be null candidate key will not will be null but primary key will not be null right okay so, right super key of course super key is a combinations okay so roll number is name only roll number roll number uh, mobile number sorry uh, his name mobile number his name other number like this okay so it can be uh, also null right for example candidate key is a super key remember and it may be null so this one is the best example so primary key will be a candidate key and candidate key is a super key of course primary key is a super key then right okay alternative key uh, alternative key for example there are three candidate keys one will if i take as primary key remaining will be called as alternative keys so other than primary key is called as alternative keys right foreign key uh, which will connect the both the tables and it will cross verify okay so and it requires common columns of course without common column we cannot have a foreign key and what it will do it will cross verify and it will uh, make the data integrity okay okay so it will maintain the standards of the data with uh, allowing the uh, not allowing the wrong data right okay okay and uh, a primary key uh, sorry foreign key uh, foreign key in one table is a primary key in another table right okay composite key when they are individual they are not unique but when they combine combination of keys then it will be unique okay right okay example student name and date of birth right so friends i hope you have understood the video and uh, if you like the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe and support me thank you